We all have an inner critic, and I think it's a buzzword that we talk about a lot. And I sit with my inner critic and I ask him, what is he there to tell me? Because I believe every emotion that we have is a messenger of some sort. And if we understand the language they're trying to speak to us, we can make good changes in our lives. We can make empowering changes. And whenever mine comes up, it tells me I'm not worthy, that I don't have enough wisdom. I don't have enough talking points to share, to even start to talk and start a conversation. It tells me that I am boring. It tells me everything I I need to know so that I don't take a risk in my life. And as I sat with those voices, I realized what it was doing was it was trying to protect me. My inner critic is trying to protect me from getting out there and experiencing something, something negative, something called shame. So my inner critic's job, well-meaning as it is, is to shame me so that nobody else can do it. I've already shamed myself. So nothing you can say can hurt me because I'm already armored up. I'm a piece of crap. Got it. Nothing you can say is going to make me feel it because I, I know I agree with you. Self-deprecation is a wonderful armor, isn't it? But the problem with it is if you never feel you have any value in yourself and you don't show your inner critic the reasons that they're wrong, you'll never discover your in, innate value. I like to tell people that if you're a human being, you have value. Sometimes we inflate what that value is supposed to mean, but really the, the truth of life is that you have a unique set of experiences, a unique genetic code. You bring a unique lifetime of stories to the table. And if you learn to extract the value from it, and that simply is authentically looking at it and hearing your own stories and understanding what they mean to you now and what they meant to you then, well, then you have some power. Like I said, it doesn't mean ascending to the greatest heights of running a country. It just means showing up more fully in relationship. And the inner critic doesn't want us to take any risk whatsoever because there's danger in it. Because risk is the threshold of the unknown. And the unknown is scary by nature. It's the edge of the map where the monsters live. That's why we put the monsters out there is because if we have a monster at the threshold beyond which is the unknown, which could be good for us, we never have to worry about it because there's a monster there. So I'm going to stay away. I'm going to stay at home. Never take a risk. And that works for a while until it doesn't.